Hi class, uh, what I want to do in this video is walk you through one of the more difficult challenge exercises in section 3.1 of Zybooks. So this is challenge exercise 3.1.5 and it's the first part here and it says a financial advisor wants to determine how the amount of time spent on financial education affects the amount of debt. And anyways, just what you're seeing here is, is that the more time people spend on financial education, it looks like their debt levels going down, which is a good thing. So what this problem wants you to do is find the equation of this regression line here. Okay, so to find the equation of the line, you need two things. You need the intercept and the slope. Well, the first thing it's asking for here is the intercept. And you can actually see it, right? So the intercept occurs when the x variable, which is financial education time, is equal to zero. So if you scroll up here, it looks like, yes, great. The intercept is 50,000. Okay, so that's actually one point we're going to use. Okay, that's the point 0 for x, 50 for y. So I'm going to put this in Excel. Point 1. The x variable was 0, and the y variable was 50,000. Now what we need is we need another point um, to figure this out. And there's a couple points you can pick. What you want to do is pick points on the line and you want to pick easily identifiable points. Like if you look at 20 here, you notice it's 40,000 is the y. Or 40 here, the y value is 30,000. So it actually doesn't matter which one you pick. So I'll just do this one here. Somebody who has 20 hours of financial education, the line is saying the y value is 40,000. So their x variable was 20, and they had $40,000 in debt. Okay, so the slope. Well, it's the change in y variables. So it's this minus this divided by the change in the x variables. Now you have to make sure that you have them in the same order. So my, this minus this. And it looks like my slope here is negative 500. So let me put that in. Negative 500. And let's check. Yes, we got it right. Okay, so that's how you're going to do this first challenge exercise. It's, it, it's a little difficult, but you're going to pick the points on the line and then you're just going to use, you know, the, the first value here along the axis as the intercept. And then you're going to pick another point that's very easily picked out on the line to help you um, find the slope using the change in y over the change in x.